I know who this is. Ah, John, it's so good to see you, my friend. Great to see you again. See and you, Nicole, I, I just talked to your co-stars for uh, Honk for Jesus, and uh, they said to say hi. Literally, I just talked to them like an hour ago. <laughs> it's a wild day. It is a wild day. Lots going on. All right. Uh, congratulations on a powerful needs to, to a story that needs to be told. Uh, performance is outstanding. You know, I, 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 I sat and normally people run out, you know, when the credits roll, I just stared at the screen because, uh, of the brilliance of what I had just seen, uh, with breaking. So, uh, congratulations to you both. Thank you. Um, I'm going to start with you, Nicole. I want to know what impact this story had on you to be a part. Ooh, ah, I, I feel like it was a gift because I've had family members in the service um, that have come back a little bit different. And I think my family didn't, if I'm being honest, like my family didn't fully understand. And I think a lot of us don't fully understand what they go through or some of the red tape that's involved with the care that we think that they're promised and they're provided through the VA, et cetera. Um, so when I read it and it was all broken down and so clear and because of Abby's beautiful vision, I felt like it was an opportunity to really have that conversation. And the timing right now is like impeccable, you know? Mm, absolutely. John, you know, every time that you and I have had a chance to talk, uh, various projects you've had over the years, um, you know, you, you seem to just grow every time and it's better. I, you're you, Both of you are just brilliant, but John, you just brought it. And this one, I want to know about the emotional toll that this had on you. And the second part of your question is, what drew you to this? I think, I think, um, I think em emotionally, I was actually, I was actually quite all right. I, I had um, quite a balance. I think being on set, being so intense, definitely can take a toll. But I don't know. I was seeing, I was seeing um, a magic that I personally didn't think I'd experience on a. Uh, on a film set, the magic of theater, the magic of, of reactive energy between actors. So the the emotional weight was kind of balanced by something that was, I just felt like the intensity was required to get to the sweet spot. Um, and at the same time, I had balance, man. Look, look, man, after I filmed on set, I was going party. I was going, chilling with my friends. I was doing stuff that I was doing in real life because I can't take the character home. Um, and so for me, I like to just, take the character off and just you know chill how john b would normally chill and then you know assume the mantle as we as we go back to that environment ladies and gentlemen that's the john boyega that we know and love <laughs> <laughs> i was really curious and nicole you know i want to ask you about the intense <laughs> scenes that you and john share uh you know everybody watching us right now this takes place in a bank uh mm -hmm. it's based on a true story how did how did those scenes weigh on you nicole knowing that true story and 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 the dealing with the intensity, you know, your faces both have these expressions of fear, strength. I'm going to say that, and really not sure what's going to happen next. Yeah, I think that's the key: not knowing <laughs> what's going to happen next, just being there um, and playing off of. He made such John made such beautiful choices and there was so much nuance and intricacy and like little things that if you're in a high stakes situation as as Estelle is you're watching everything it's almost like almost like an animal you know you're watching to see if a slight move happens you're on it and I just think we just all got to play off of one another I don't think uh there was any opportunity to drop the ball we just kind of kept it going between one another but really just like you said, John came in and blew us out of the water. So we had to be alive. John, I'm going to give you the uh, I'm going to give you the last word here. What's <laughs> going to what's going to stay with you? I know that you got to work with the real family uh, that, that, you know, uh, the story involves. But what's going to stick with you, John? Um, I think it's kind of been and not just talk about filming, but the reaction after like I was in Encino the other day of my mom. And some dude just stopped me out of nowhere and said that he's a vet. He said he watched the trailer. He told me that he can't watch it opening weekend because he has to wait for his friend for emotional support to sit through it. Uh, so he'll see it, see it the following weekend. But he just told me that it. he felt like it was important that I put my name and also all the other actors put their name towards something that is, is a story that he never thought would be on screen. He never thought that people would find any kind of like narrative interest to want to see how they live. 
Um, and although, because we were we were just chatting while my mum was, you know, getting sneakers and stuff, and he was just saying, although it's a although it's a movie, and and obviously there's entertainment value to it, he was just like, it's just important to for people to understand that perspective. Um, a, a, a young Mexican man that I met, met out there, and it was, you know, it's, it's nice to know that there are actually people who've gone through that scenario um, who can watch our movie and feel like it's still still beneficial. Make it a difference, and that's yeah. why we do these things. Uh yeah. Love you, dude. I, it's so great yeah, to see you, see you man. Dude, always. it's always great to see you. I know, man. Always, always. We have to have composure for the interviews and then... <laughs> <laughs> there we go, party. Uh, yeah. By the way, Nicole, before I get out of here, missed you Juneteenth. What a great film. I covered that. And cool. it's just... A, that was another one that just I loved. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.